want to do some work to the interior. The interior is in pretty nice shape. I'm not crazy about the style of it. I'd like to have more like a Grand National interior with the gray and the bucket seats and everything, but that would cost a lot of money to switch over. And uh, although I probably will do it one day, I'd rather focus my attention first on engine, transmission, and brakes, and suspension, and wheels, and paint, and stuff like that. Interior probably the last thing I do, but what I would like to do is get a uh, a floor shifter in here. And what I think I want to do is I'm going to take out the passenger seat. <clears throat> I'm going to see if there isn't some kind of way I can cut the seat. Like if I took out, if I were to fold it down like right here and tuck that down and I just have like two... This is like a 60-40 split. Maybe if I had just a 40 over here and a 40 over here and get rid of this little center piece. If I could, I'd like to get rid of that if I could. I'm gonna see if, I'm gonna pull it out and just look at it and see if there ain't some way I can do it and make it look decent. So I'm gonna start out these little plastic things down here. I'm thinking if I get those up, I can unmount the seat from the floor. So I'll do that first. So I got the plastic stuff out of the way. It looks like it's a uh, 13 millimeter that holds the seats in. The car is a little dirty. I, I haven't really messed with it since I bought it a year ago. I'll get this seat out. I'll clean it up a little bit. So I'll go ahead and take off. Looks like there's one here. Another one in here. It's got to do all four corners. I'm going to go ahead and take off all these uh, hog rings here. And uh, get all this loose. And then I'll probably cut like somewhere along here. See if I can't uh, get rid of that center section so I got room for a center console. I don't have the proper uh, hog ring pliers, so I'm just going to use this. I'm, I'm probably not going to be reusing any of these rings anyway. So. Looks like my my armrests here, bolts on, a couple bolts there, and a couple more there. So I'll probably just go ahead and get that out of the way for right now. Okay, four nuts are off, so that just falls off then. Hopefully we can peel this, there we go. So I got this peeled back. Now I just gotta figure out where I kinda wanna cut it. I'm thinking, uh, it looks like here you got like three center sections and then there's a little extra piece here which would be like that so if this here was the edge of the seat it would kind of match so i probably want to try to cut it there and then fold it under maybe i'll get some uh, tape or something to help kind of see where that line's at so i went ahead and put a piece of tape on it so it should be about where i want it I might start like right here just to make sure that you can always cut more but you can't put back what you took out as easily so I gotta get a cutoff wheel and I'll see if I can't ruin the seat <laughs> hopefully it turns out okay Try to cut through this phone. It cuts pretty easy actually. It's a little metal wire on the end. Yeah, it looks pretty good it looks it looks like it might have came like that from the factory it looks like i might have a little bit more over on this end 
so I might cut that foam back just a little bit but that looks pretty good doesn't it, it looks with that seam right there it looks like it's made to do that so that's looks pretty good I think maybe it's going uphill a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and maybe start back here and kind of see if I can make this a little lower on this side okay I got the seat frame cut back so now I'm gonna go through and uh, I'm gonna make these corners so they're not as sharp i don't know if anybody ever tries to pick this up out of there i don't want them like cutting their hands or anything so i'm gonna try to kind of smooth it out a little bit just make it a little safer to handle so now i need to fold this over uh, i think i'm gonna take this this seat rail off right here it's gonna end up kind of going down there i could cut it and make it shorter but this is a nice like anchor point here it's got this metal inside of it so i might try to like i don't know zip tie it down or or get it underneath these bolts or something. Let me get this out of the way and we'll see what the best way to do it is once I get this rail here out of the way. So I got this front bolt out. It's also a little spacer in there. And you just uh, go ahead and slide the seat forward. And then there's your back bolt. Okay, so now I just have to fold this I think I'm gonna like put that under and then bring that on top like that there you go so it has a seam on top so if it just goes down the side it probably won't look too bad looks pretty good I think I just gotta find a way to keep it down. Probably just use the bolt holes and let's kind of pinch it in the seat rail. Okay, so there's the finished product. I think it turned out pretty good. It'll let me get my uh, my center console in there. I want to put a, a ratchet shifter in it. So, uh, you know, it turned out, I thought, pretty good. I can go and get like bucket seats for it, but they're not like this style, this plush style, which is fine. I prefer the sportier style, but I would have to get the back seat to match. And these cars are getting older and, uh, and it's hard to find seats in good condition. You probably have to, you know, go ahead and reupholster it. And that's not cheap. If I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and get like the grand national style. I like the, the gray with the black in the middle. And then I have to get new carpet and paint the whole interior, a different color. And, I'm not trying to go down that road just yet. Um, I'd rather spend money on like engine and transmission and rear end and stuff like that. So uh, this is just something that'll give me a buy for a little bit, it's free. So here's the end result. I think it turned out pretty good. This was some console, I paid like 30 bucks for this whole thing. This is out of a Cutlass. Um, I'm not gonna keep it long term, but uh, I got it for next to nothing and uh, it does use the same bottom piece as, as the Regal one and the shifter is in the same spot. So I can mount up my ratchet shifter and get everything just right. And then uh, if I can find like a nice clean Regal one, I can just, it'll just bolt right in because it uses all the same parts. But uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. You can't really tell that it's been modified besides just that spot for the seat belt. But uh, like this one here has this edge here. It looks pretty similar. So, uh, pretty happy with it it's a good cheap way to to be able to put a center console in your car and uh this carpet's pretty nasty i'm probably gonna go ahead and uh get a replacement carpet for it and get it cleaned up and i just moved it in the driveway and i discovered that it doesn't have any brakes right now i guess they must have leaked out or something so i'm actually going to be doing some upgrades to the brakes anyway so Stay tuned for that. So if you had a G body, you ever thought about doing that? Uh, go ahead and do it. It looks pretty good. I would anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.